everybody, Mr. O'Malley jumping in today, today being Wednesday, September 18th, and we're on a day four schedule. The Oakmont Chamber of Commerce in the Business District is hosting a fall festival on Saturday, October 12th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are looking for community service hours, consider helping that day with pumpkin painting, the photo booth, food, music, face painting, or cartoonists. Please see Ms. Kvortek in room 216 today if you're interested. Lots of sports updates for you today. Junior high and underclassmen girls are invited to come to practice with the girls varsity tennis team this week. If you think you would enjoy playing, there's a good opportunity to try out tennis and meet the current team members. Sectional individual qualifiers for the golf team were held at Buffalo Golf Course yesterday. The Whippeal set the qualifying score at 79 or below. The Raiders Jack Harden with the 76 and Daniel Donatucci with a 79 both qualified and will go on to the next round of individual competition on September 26th at Allegheny Country Club. The Raiders have not had a player advance in the individual qualifiers since 2010. Congratulations to both Jack and Daniel. All the Raider golfers who went on to the qualifiers played well. The team shot a combined 412 for 18 holes. That score would have been good enough to take an overall second at last year's first round playoffs and advance review onto the Whippeal Finals. It was another impressive day for the Raider golf team, and coaches Beal and Carlin are very proud of the team's accomplishments and look forward to more success as they finish up the season. Golf team's next match is with Powerhouse Hampton High School on Thursday in a non-sectional match, and then they play Leechburg on Friday. Turning to golf, uh, excuse me, turning to soccer, the Lady Raiders uh, earlier this week lost a hard-fought match 6-3 to three to the Lady Dynamos of Springdale. Lady Raiders goal contributors were senior Francesca Leo with a goal and an assist, senior Angelina Pecora with a goal, and senior Sydney McDonough with a goal. The Lady Raiders' next match is at Riverside Park against sectional rival Greensburg Central Catholic. At the home junior high cross-country race yesterday, Chris Barnes came in first place overall. Micah Ivey came in second against Deer Lakes and third overall, um, excuse me, Reese Stemfer, Brody Howell, and Mason Dietrich rounded out their scoring uh, team and secured a win against Deer Lakes. Led by Lily Bauer, fresh off the basketball court and followed closely by Audrey Myers, the girls had their first win of the season over Deer Lakes. Lily Hood, Marissa Davis, Elise Barnes, Janisha Carlino, and Addison Carangio all contributed points toward the win. Looking at boys soccer, uh, the Raiders added one to the win column with a 3-0 section win versus Eden. Captain Nico Catanzaro got the Raiders on board when he buried a rebound home midway through the first half. Senior Parker Morgan finished a breakaway to make it 2-0 before the half. Captain Joy Flanick continued to add to his goal total with a second half goal to put the game away. The team continues to play solid team defense led by a strong back line of Max Wilmer, Jackson Catanzaro, Danny Black, Alexia Siora, and Nick O'Toole. Senior keeper Mark McClellan has posted back-to-back -back shutouts. The Raiders are now 4-1 in section play and 5-1 and overall. They play uh, rival Springdale Thursday at 7, so find a way to get to that match. Uh, the, the junior high Raiders soccer team tied West Shemokin to remain unbeaten. The game was not as close as the score shows. Most of the game was played in West Shemokin's half of the field, and the Raiders led 2-1 to one at halftime when West Shemokin scored to tie the game with three seconds left in added time. Lola Abraham had two goals with one assist, each from Carter Lochran, Angelo Giovannini, and Cohen Houlihan. Drew Orgadowski and Kiara Brun both played very well in goal, each only letting in one goal. In other action, Brody Deem and Georgia Sambis played very well in defense. Quinn Catanzaro almost scored twice and played well on offense. Braden Casto had several key passes to keep the ball moving into West Shemokin's side of the pitch. The Raiders play again this Thursday at home at Creekside at 345 against Valley. Turning back a little bit to uh, golf, let's look at the junior varsity golf team. They earned a victory at the Buffalo Golf Course and a close match over sectional opponent Freeport by the score of 268 to 275. The Raiders were led by Captain Will Franciscus' 46 and Jack Migley's 49. The Raider JV improved its record to two wins and one loss. Combined with the Raider varsity, this has been one of the most successful seasons of Raider golf in school's history. On Monday, the Raider Junior Varsity hopes to avenge its earlier loss against Shadyside at their home site in Saxon Golf Course. The Raider Varsity is off tonight, but has a non-section match against Hampton tomorrow again and a home match against Leechburg on Friday. 
And now, wrapping up with a little bit of student council news. There's a brief but important student council meeting on Thursday, September 19th. That's tomorrow morning at 725 in room 222. All students in grades 9 to 12 who are interested in joining student council should attend this meeting. If you're a student in grades 9 to 12 who's bringing a guest to an, uh, from another school excuse me, to our homecoming dance on Saturday, October 12th, you must have your guest complete a permission slip form from their high school's office, and your guest must also submit a photocopy of a student ID or driver's license before Friday, October 4th to Ms. Walsh in room 222. All students in grades 9 to 12 are invited to this year's homecoming dance on Saturday, October 12th from 7 to 10 in the evening in the high school cafeteria. This year's homecoming theme is The Great Gatsby. No student will be permitted to enter the dance after 8 o'clock p.m. You must purchase your ticket during lunch periods in the cafeteria beginning on Monday, September 23rd until Wednesday, October 9th. You will not be allowed to purchase tickets the night of the dance. Well, that's it for today's news announcements, everybody. I'm Mr. O'Malley. Please remember to stand up for the pledge. Have a great day.